There are more than 6 million people in the United States who are dealing with wounds that never heal. These wounds are known as chronic wounds because they come back over and over again. One of the most common diseases that make skin regeneration harder is diabetes. In fact, one out of 10 Americans have diabetes and 15% of diabetic patients suffer from chronic wounds. These patients may go through various wound care therapies and that place a huge financial burden on the healthcare system around $50 billion per year. The worst news for a diabetic patient is that these wounds are hard to be cured. That's why we need to understand the underlying mechanism of these debilitating wounds so that we can come up with the best diagnostic tool and wound healing strategy. In response to this need, during my PhD studies at Biophotonics Lab in collaboration with College of Nursing, I developed an optical imaging system that can assess wound healing progress. For that, I built this unique and novel device that captures real-time metabolic images of the wound non-invasively. After processing the outcome images of the system, we will have these pseudocolor images. The color of them is related to metabolic state and function of the wound. So, we can have information about both functional and structural status of the wound simultaneously. When we compared the wound on a diabetic animal versus a non-diabetic control, we've seen that the diabetic wound doesn't show any sign of healing, even after four days, while the control wound quickly healed. This result showed that there is a metabolic dysfunction during diabetic wound healing, and now we are in progress of studying near-infrared light therapy that targets the metabolic of the wound. Now, let's think about it. Millions of people end with amputation and disability because of one small non-healing wound. This nightmare will not end if nothing is done about this disease. That's why my goal and my hope is during my PhD studies, I can have a better understanding of diabetic wounds and find an efficient therapy for them. Thank you for listening to me.